The Europeans dominated the world during World War II. The Nazi with Germany, Japan, and Italy was one strong alliance. The Europeans were also very strong alliance too. They took over a lot of countries and colonized them. 1811 to 1814, British took over colonial rule. 1815, the conquest of Vienna, British returned Indonesia to the Dutch. Dutch brought many goods to the island of Indonesia. Java, such as coffee, sugar, which became one of the largest product exports. It took 70% of Indonesian exports and the profits were taken by the Dutch. When we talk about Indonesian wars, people think of the war between the native people and the Dutch. But before the Dutch came, there were many other rulers came and colonized Indonesia. Gajah Mada, an elite guard from Majapahit Empire, which was located in Java, an island of Indonesia. He ruled Indonesia from 1331 to 1364 established the bureaucracy and the administration as well as arranged many laws and customs. During the 13th century, Islam arrived through trading by Arab merchants into Indonesia. Many Islamic values spread throughout the uh, archipelago and influenced the culture, such as art. Indonesia is a country having many different small islands with many potentials attracted many European countries want to explore many things from here. Then, 15, 11, Netherlands arrived in Archipelago. There were many countries colonized Indonesia, but Netherlands is the most dominant. They came as a traders under the umbrella trading of the Dutch East India Company. The natural resources and labor sources of Indonesia encouraged Dutch to explore many things from their colonies. They slowly applied the indirect control to the Indonesians. Areas where people didn't offer financial benefit or where their lack of economic resources continued to be indirect. Some people chose to learn Dutch language but some roots in island areas and mainly states of the island where loyalty Indonesian continued their traditional leave. The Dutch then conducted business with the natives by opening many ports along the archipelago like Batavia, Banda, Tidor, Java and Maskasa also forced people to follow their cultivation system which idea was to force farmers to plant commercial crops for the Dutch and local government. During Dutch colonization, peasants had to pay high taxes led to the poverty and starvation. But in the 18th century, some private investment companies began to decline as the profits from trading decreased because the interruption of Indonesian pirates. People were unhappy because of the ways the Dutch run the country the fight for independence began in Indonesia. During the early 20th century, the two reasons that help Indonesians developing in nationalism are the abusive control of the Dutch East Indies and the feeling of willing to refine the faith of Islam. Indonesia was a potential country because they were archipelago which could be potential port cities to trade. A tropical land so Dutch could grow the crash crops and also the large labor sources. From the three reasons above, met Dutch to colonize and expect high profits from them which led to the harsh control over Indonesians. Since then, the people started open many organizations to defend themselves led to those organizations had been seeking ways to get rid of the Dutch control to have an Indonesia's state that not under control. To 1912, the Javanese Batik merchants who mixed between the reformist religious ideas with nationalism published the colony's first political movement, the Islamic Union. And until 1919, it has combined it to millions of members. And also the Islam based on faith, that faith are really important to them. But since the Western ideas were contrast to them, so that they wanted to get rid of it, they didn't want their people to be influenced by it also. Therefore, they try to seek for the way to reform and remove those bad impacts to clarify their faith. Toward to support this idea, they started to bring back the segregation between women and men and also bring back the older pre-Islamic influences which they believe it would help to hold the Indonesians and custom back. Overall, the stand up against the Dutch 
control and a desire to reform the religion has flourished and developed the nationalism in Indonesia. The Dutch always thought they had the ability to win against Indonesia, but the defensive of Indonesian military and its civilians, it wasn't easy for them to fight. They soon fought back and led to the result that Madian, a city in western of Java, where the Dutch state had been isolated from others and could only be supplied through air. Even more, plantation had been abandoned and they have to move their places to other places in order to protect themselves. People then moved out of small towns and started defeating the Dutch. At that time, the Dutch was kind of fear of Indonesia. During World War II, 1942 to 1945, the Japanese occupied Indonesia and controlled trading, government, kicked the Dutch out of Indonesia. On August 1945, Americans bombed the Japanese in Hiroshima. With this big loss, Japanese surrendered and gave Indonesia back to the Dutch. After World War II, the Dutch regained control but only for the short period of time. After a time being controlled by the Dutch East Indies, the people started to stand up and resist them. There were many fights arise from many places and people, but the most dominant one was the National Revolution during the 1945 to 1949. It exploded on August 17, 1945, with the Dutch, and be recognized the claim of independence by the Dutch on December 27, 1949. Through many passwords had effectively gained the freedom from the Dutch colonel, the political independence, and the great, remarkable work of unite of various groups of ethnic, religions, and also the geography. Thus, the revolution also has accomplished in a very short period of time, just like they gained the independence in only more than four years with the number of human costs which must last than those other revolution in India or Vietnam. In the late 1945, Republic of Indonesia was controlled largely by countries which cooperated with the Japanese. On November 12, 1946, Linga Chati Agreement was supposed to be able to agree the Republican control on Sumatra, Java, Madura and the Federation of States under Dutch control in the Eastern Archipelago, but not until months later, it was ratified and well known in the both sides. It helped gain the independence. Representatives of Republic of Indonesia, they are also the first example used in the United Nations and were opinions in achieving independence that it's mostly been debated that the Indonesian army with well-trained make the Dutch power was not capable to achieve further colonize. 1927, an educated allied Sukarno found movement for independence from the Dutch. He brought the idea of treating inlanders like the third-class citizens and that they should stand up and fight against the invaders. His ideas had encouraged the Indonesians a lot. 1945 to 1967, Sukarno was declared as the president and established Republic of the United States of Indonesia. 1949, Queen Juliana of Netherlands proclaimed that Indonesia was free from the Dutch rule that Dutch recognized that it caused them too much to colonize the Indonesia. But it was not until 2005 that Dutch accept that Indonesia was a free country. In August 17, 1945 was Indonesia's official date of independence. Colonialism ended, Sukarno used democracy as the central governing method, but he controlled Indonesia as a dictator. Throughout 1960s, economics was poor because Sukarno did not know how to apply the economics policy to his country led to economic crisis and the divisions of the government such as communist, religion like Islam and
military forces. 1965, Indonesia became stronger in politic and social pressure due to the economic crisis in early 1960s. A small group of military forces and communists tried to seize the power but fell. Then Sukarno got arrested by a group of discontent generals and they took control of power after all. The communists of that time has controlled and influenced most of the peasants and poor people. The group of discontented generals launched a campaign to take down the communists and the leftists. The Muslims and army killed half a million Indonesians. Most of the communists and unpopular Chinese minority, most of the communist leaders were killed. 1970, Sukarno died with disgrace. In conclusion, Indonesia was a potential country with a lot of natural resources and a tropical environment, suitable for cash crops and planting sugar, coffee. It also a country surrounded by seas, so mineral was things that must probably have there. Indonesia was a big country with many people from different nations, where European countries could come and conquer a huge labor source. Indonesia had been through many struggles and difficulties. They also had to protect their own culture from invaders. Also, Sukarno tried his best to unite his country, but due to his dictate and the discontented generals, he fell and died in disgrace. Everything the Indonesians have been through, they finally got the independence back and a way of governing their country, the Republic of Indonesia.